Okay, so now let's take a look at a few of the word problems here that are going to involve uh, quadratics or square roots. So question number two talks about the surface area of a cube. So we know we should just have a visual of what that is. So a cube is essentially a three-dimensional version of a square where all the sides are um, equal. And it says the surface area of a cube. So the surface area, okay, I'll just write that down as SA, is equal to the sum of all the areas of the side, sides of a cube, right? So we know there are six sides in a three-dimensional space like the cube. So the area of one side of the cube, if we said that was just length x, the area would be just simply x squared, but because there are six of them, we would just multiply the individual area times six. Okay, and then we also know the total area is equal to 73.5. Okay, so we just are simply having an expression to solve here. 6x squared is equal to 73.5. All right, so this is a relatively simple equation to solve that we should be able to do from before. So we can just simply divide by 6. And then we have x squared is equal to 73.5 divided by 6, which is equal to 12, roughly 12.25. Okay, we'll just leave everything in decimals. Then we have to solve for x still. So to do that, you need to take the square root of both sides. So x is equal to plus or minus. Now remember, there's always going to be two roots here. The square root of 12.25. So on our calculator, that roughly comes out to about three, three and a half. So the units here are in feet. So plus or minus three and a half feet. Now, <clears throat> when you have a word problem like this, there's remember, there's two solutions here. There's the 3.5 feet, and then there's x, which is negative 3.5 feet. So one of these we don't use, because it makes no sense to talk about a negative value for distance. So this is just ignored. It's what's called an extraneous root. And then the one that is correct will be the one that is positive. So that would be the example for question number two. Okay, so that's how you, you look for that. It's, sometimes it's just easy to draw a picture to understand what you have. And then you have to just go back and apply a little formula. So area and volume um, are helpful to know for, for basic shapes or just be a way to figure that out.